We had some controversial comments this week by Governor Mitt Romney in a conference call with donors. Let's listen to that. What the, president, uh, the president's campaign did was focus on certain members of his base coalition, give them extraordinary financial gifts from the government, uh, and, uh, and then work very uh, aggressively to turn them out to vote. If you want voters to like you, the first thing you've got to do is to like them first. And it's certainly not helpful to tell voters that you think their votes were bought. This is completely not helpful. This is not where the Republican Party needs to go. What do you think of that? Is that where the Republican Party needs to go? I just think it's nuts. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean first of all, it's insulting. This would be like Walmart having a bad week and going, the customers have really been unruly. <laughs> I mean, the job of a political leader in part is to understand the people. If we can't offer a better future that is believable to more people, we're not going to win. And, and how do you do that, George Will? How do well, you do that? You begin where Bobby Jindal was. It's been well said that you have a political problem when the voters don't like you, but you've got a real problem when the voters think you don't like them. Mm -hmm. And that is that Mitt Romney was picking up the theme he improvidently put before the country and inadvertently with his 47 percent video during the campaign. Get back to quit despising the American people, particularly because a lot of what they're despising them for are Republican policies. When, the pre when Mitt Romney said so many Americans aren't paying taxes, yeah, because the Republicans doubled the child tax credit for conservative reasons. Yes, because they expanded the earned income tax credit, as Ronald Reagan did, because they thought it was an effective anti-poverty program.